Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will learn about setting and resetting indexes in a Pandas data frame. So there are two types of indexes in Pandas data frame, row and column indexes. And we can access specific rows and columns using those indexes using something called as indexers. I am talking about loc and iloc here, right? So loc stands for location, iloc stands for integer location. About these two things, I have talked about in detail in my another video, okay? So now let us come back to setting and resetting the indexes. Now let us just think that if we want to search for some specific row based on a column whose values are known to us in advance. So in this case, we can easily make use of loc indexer and get the required row if that specific column is set as our row index, right? So in order to give you a better understanding, let me quickly create a very simple data frame with this particular data in here, right? So I will import the pandas data frame and I will execute this particular cell. Now I will be able to create the data frame. I will say df is equal to td dot data frame and I will pass in this particular data here, right? So this is how my data looks like. Now let us say we already know the employee numbers beforehand and I want to set this employee number column as my row index. So how I can do that? For that, I can make use of something called as set index method. So all I have to do is df dot set index and I want to pass the column name that I want that to be as my row index, right? So it is emp no. So now if I check my data frame, I have this employee number pushed out of the columns and made as my row index. But one thing you have to remember here is if I now check the data frame, again, the employee number is not set as my row index. Why? Because the set index by default does not alter the data frame index. What it does, instead it just gives us the view of how data frame would look like after setting the index. In order for the change to take effect on the data frame, we have to pass another parameter called as in place and set it to true. Okay. So now, if we want this particular change to take place permanently in this particular data frame, all we have to do is we have to execute this with an another parameter called as in place and set it to true. So it takes boolean. By default, it will be false. If we set it to true, and then if we check the df, now we can see the change has taken place, right? So <clears throat> this is how you can set any specific column as your row index. Now, if you want to select any specific row for any specific employee number, all you have to do is df dot log of. So I can say 121 now. Now I'll get the row where the row index is 121. That is ABC. That is name. You can see here name abc and email id abc at mail.com, right? So this is how setting the index helps us in order to get the required row if we know the index value beforehand. Now, if I say df.loc of 0, what happens? It will give us the key error because there is no index with value 0. Our indexes are starting from 120, correct? So this is with respect to loc. But how this works with iloc? So as I told you in my loc and iloc video, if I want to use iloc and if I say 120, this will give me an error because iloc always refers to the integer locations by default, which pandas has its internal representation in a way starting from zero always. So no matter if we set any particular column as our row index internally, pandas will also maintain its own specific integer index that is always starting from zero and it is always of type integer, right? So in order to use our iloc, all I have to do is df dot iloc of zero, I will get my first row here. So let me just display the df. So this particular row internally has index zero. This particular row internally has index one and this particular row has index two internally. So that's why iloc is getting executed when we pass the internal represented indexes. Okay. So this is how we can set the index and make use of our loc method. <clears throat> okay. So this can be done. We can set the index as we can set any other column as specific row index 
while reading the data from a csv file as well okay so let's see how we can do that so let's say we are reading a data file uh, let a csv file okay so for that what we have to do pd dot read csv and we have to pass in the data right you have already seen this in my video where i am explain where i have explained different ways to create a data frame right so i'll just provide the path here for my data file and if you look at this so this is how the data looks like now suppose let's say i want to make the response id as my row index so how i can do that so while reading itself we can do that one way is to use set index so all i have to do is after reading the data file i have to say df dot set index give this column name in place is equal to 2 that will do the job but what if i want to read the data file while reading only i want to set this column as my row index so for that i have to do one more thing so i have to make use of the same method but while reading it i have to pass another parameter called as index call and i have to provide the column name which i want it to be as my row index okay so it will be response id now if i check my data frame so this is how it looks like now you see the response id column is pushed out of the columns list and this has been made as my row index okay so this is about set index you have seen how we can set the index after creating the data frame and you have also seen how we can set the index while reading the data into a data frame right so now let's talk about something called as reset index so let me just give it a heading reset index so why we need reset index let's just think right so if we have set any column as your row index and by mistake you have selected a wrong column as your row index now if you want to correct it you have to undo the changes right so you can undo the changes by making use of something called as reset index so you have already seen this particular df let me quickly create it again because i have overwritten this df variable uh, by the data that i have in my csv file let me create this data frame and this is my df and let me quickly set index and instead of employee number if i by mistakenly set name as my index so let's say i am i have set name as my index in place is equal to true and it should be in place so there is a spelling mistake now if i check you can see the name is set as my row index now this is by mistake okay i do not want name as my index now so i want to undo this so for that what you can do you can say df dot reset index and you can just say you can just execute it okay so if you execute it you will see name employee number email right so now if you check df the change has not taken place again similar to set index reset index will return us the view of how the data would look, look like after executing this particular method so in order for this change to take place permanently in this particular data frame what you have to do you have to pass in the parameter called as in place is equal to true now if you check the df you can see the name column is no longer my row index it has been reset okay so <laughs> this is how you can set and reset the index and this will be particularly useful in case where you are reading the data dictionary of a given data file and you do not know uh, what each column represents in that case you can read in the data dictionary file and set the column names as your row index and then read on what each column represents okay so that's it for this video guys uh, i hope you have learned something uh, if you like the content please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already subscribed okay so see you all in the next video happy learning bye bye